The season of love and chocolate is approaching. In this video, I want to discuss all things chocolate and explore the most luscious and delectable chocolatey options out there that don't involve the harming of any cows, that are easy to find and achieve, but maybe not the most well known. Let's start with what you can find in probably any grocery store. In the actual candy aisle, you're mostly barraged with Hershey and Lindor and York. You might find specialty items like these. You might find Justin's peanut butter cups. I highly recommend these. You also might find chocolate covered cocoa melts. These are yummy if you're a fan of coconut. Of course, the theater candy always has junior mints. I like these every once in a while. I especially like the candy cane ones that come out at Christmas. Moser Roth is a quality but affordable chocolate you can find at Aldi. This is probably my favorite. It's not too dark and it comes in different flavors like chili and orange. You will definitely find the Lindt Dark Chocolate Square. The higher the percentage, the more dark and bitter it is, so I would probably go with the 70%. Also, remember the Lindt brand when April rolls around because they make dark chocolate bunnies. While I do love a deep dark chocolate, you might be looking for something milder so you can head on over to the baking aisle and find baking chocolate. I love this one. It's only 50% dark so it's more similar to milk chocolate. You can eat this like a candy bar or you can melt it and pour it into a mold and make your own treats, which looks impressive but is actually really easy. Always check the ingredients on chocolate chips because they might have milk in them even though they say dark. Organic chocolate chips will often be dairy free. If you can't find dairy free chocolate chips here, look for the allergen free section with all the gluten free stuff. They are more expensive so I would rather look for the regular organic ones first. Depending on the grocery store, you might find other allergen free products like rice milk bars. These are not bad. As far as chocolate frosting goes, none of these have any milk in them. That's right, even this one that says milk on it, which I will buy because milk chocolate frosting pairs well with the dark chocolate flavor in chocolate cake. The chocolate cake mixes are all vegan, but they do call for eggs, so you have to use an egg substitute. I would rather make my own cake with a recipe that doesn't call for eggs, and I will be doing that in this video. Cocoa powder is a necessity for chocolate cake, cookies, brownies, and more. Chocolate syrup is vegan. I just get the store brand. Please do not buy from Hershey. They have a thing for promoting dairy farms and they are, they're doing okay. They don't need any more of our money. I would be remiss if I did not point out that these cookies have no animal products in their ingredients. And let's not forget about the Ben & Jerry's non-dairy ice cream. You can get molds to make chocolates in the party aisle, especially the holiday party aisle. Now that we're in chocolate heaven, let's look at some concoctions we can create. I'm making some heart-shaped chocolates and I'm putting strawberry jam in some of them and also a peanut butter mixture which I will include the recipe for. It basically makes Reese's Cup hearts. You could also put in coconut, crisp rice cereal, crushed cookies, anything you want as a filling for chocolates. If you're single, you could just stab the heart. I also have some white chocolate chips that I bought online. Please pardon my drizzling skills. This next dessert has many names, chocolate pudding cake, brownie pudding, chocolate cobbler, and it's easy to make. The recipe is in the description, but you can see that all the ingredients are pretty straightforward. It 
has a crispy brownie top and you can't tell from the first scoop but it has a kind of pudding lava at the bottom. One of the quickest, easiest ways to get your chocolate fix is the chocolate cluster. You just melt some chocolate in the microwave, add a scoop of peanut butter, a cereal you like, crisp rice, granola, cornflakes are all good, and mix it together. Then you spoon it onto wax paper and let it cool, and that's it. Lastly, I'm making a layered trifle out of chocolate cake cubes, chocolate mousse, and whipped cream, all completely vegan. Again, the ingredients for the chocolate cake are pretty straightforward. To make the chocolate mousse, you start out with a can of coconut milk that's been chilled in the refrigerator. And I'm opening it upside down so that I can then pour out the coconut water and use only the coconut cream. Then whip it with a whisk or a mixer and add vanilla and powdered sugar. And then take out a little bit before adding the cocoa to make chocolate mousse. Then just layer everything together and add strawberries for garnish. It turned out a little bit messy looking, but it was so delicious. These are only a few of my favorites in the world of vegan chocolate. I hope this was inspiring and thanks for watching.